Yo, and hello everybody. Happy Saturday morning. Mike here, Baseball Collector, doing a little bit of a speculation video. I know, it's not my normal thing, but what I speculate on is not the hot prospects, hot rookies, but my speculations are who's going to get into the Hall of Fame eventually one day. And so, this is a set registry called Future Hall of Fame <clears throat> Players in the PSA set registry. They have different rookie cards of people that have been voted in essentially by the people doing the registry of who should be in it. There's several that I don't have. I mean, it's certainly not a complete registry for me, and I'll point that out. And I've also included a couple of players on here that are not included in the registry that I think either should be or will eventually get into the Hall of Fame. And so this is so much fun for me to kind of go through these. Let's let's talk about each player and, you know, my opinion on their opportunity and possibility of getting in the Hall of Fame someday. All right, here we go. There's a couple of early cards that I don't have in this registry. Uh, one is the Gil Hodges, 49 Bowman, and the other is the 63 Pete Rose. Those are just expensive cards that I just haven't picked up yet. Uh, but here's the Jim Cat, Jim Cott. <laughs> I definitely think he's going to get in someday. Um, you know, player vintage players that aren't on here that will probably get in at some point. Tony Oliva, they're not on the registry. Lou Pinella as a manager. Uh, gosh, I just went blank. Steve Garvey. Oh, gosh. So there's a lot of guys that aren't on here, but here are the guys that are on here. Uh, Dave Parker, yes, I think he should be in the Hall of Fame, and yes, I think he will eventually get in. Dale Murphy, I'm really on the fence about for years. I've just been on the fence for him being in the Hall of Fame. Pretty much none of these guys, with the exception of maybe one as I look through the list, would I be upset if they got in the Hall of Fame? I wouldn't be bitching and moaning. I mean, if Dale Murphy got in, I would not think that's an injustice by any means. Great career, great player. So there's the Dale Murphy. Lou Whitaker should definitely be in. One of the greatest second basemen of his time. I think he was overshadowed a lot during his career because of the greatness of Joe Morgan in terms of second baseman. But Lou Whitaker was pretty darn good. You could argue in a lot of ways he was better than Alan Trammell, who's already in the Hall of Fame, his teammate. But there's uh, the Lou Whitaker. And then the Roger Clemens. Give me a break. Of course, Roger Clemens should be in the Hall of Fame. I know a lot of people just hate the PED stuff, and there's a lot of PED guys on this list. And I'm a big believer in letting them all in. So it was an era of baseball that is... Hard to ignore. Yes, I, you know, did they cheat? Yes. Did they enhance their, yes. But Roger Clemens, come on. One of the greatest pitchers of all time. Uh, to that end, Mark McGuire should absolutely be in the Hall of Fame. I mean, I'm not going to have to say anything. 1998. That's all I'll say. Uh, Fred McGriff, what a great player. He probably played very clean his whole career. We, again, we don't know. And that's the whole thing. I don't know that Fred McGriff was clean. I think he was. But he was certainly in that era, and he was an RBI machine. Totally deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. And I think he will very quickly, actually. Next, we've got two guys, <clears throat> obviously, with PED implications. Barry Bonds. Uh, one, literally, the greatest player I've ever seen play live is Barry Bonds. And, uh, like, it's not even close, <laughs> really, to number two. But Palmero is one of those guys, 3,000 hits, 500 home runs. He's the only player to achieve that who is eligible to be in the Hall of Fame that is not in the Hall of Fame. In fact, Palmero's not even on the ballot anymore. He dropped off very quickly because of his PED and, you know, cong congressional hearings and all that kind of stuff that he didn't do himself any favors, but Palmero should be in. Most everybody that follows Hall of Fame knows the story of Kurt Schilling. This will be his last year on the ballot. He was just a few votes short in the last couple of years. A lot of political slash just personal issues that people have with Kurt Schilling. That, in my opinion, should not take away from his accomplishments on the field. Kurt Schilling should, of course, be a Hall of Famer. 
as should the next guy, Gary Sheffield, who another 500 home run guy. Used to be 500 home runs was a lock, then PEDs, and, you know, I just, I still think Gary Sheffield was an amazing player and should be in the Hall of Fame for sure. The last guy is the only guy that I would say I am lukewarm about in terms of their Hall of Fame candidacy, and that is Omar Vizquel. If, if I had a vote, I would not vote for Luke, Omar Vizquel. Not that he didn't have a, a very good career, but so did a lot of other guys that I wouldn't vote for, like Don Mattingly. So very good isn't great, and I don't know that Vizquel did enough. He was, again, very, very good, guys. So I don't know, but he's on the set registry. Now we go to two guys down here that were actually teammates for a little while with the Rangers. You got Sammy Sosa on the left. Of course, same same argument I would make for McGuire, except Sosa probably even had a better career. 600 home runs <laughs> uh, and just amazing. Juan Gonzalez, you know, everybody just dismisses Juan Gonzalez, but I don't know that in the early to mid-90s, you would say there was a more feared hitter than Juan Gonzalez, save maybe Albert Bell, was just a beast, by the way, Albert Bell is not on this list. Griffey, of course, in those days, but Juan Gonzalez was a monster. He was a beast. Now, did he do it for 20 years? No, and I think that cost him. PED speculation, yes, I think that cost him. But two MVP awards, several home run titles, I mean, Juan Gonzalez needs to be considered more than most people think he does. Manny Ramirez, again, if you were to say feared hitters of the late 90s for sure, Manny Ramirez would be at the top of most people's list. Just an absolute beast, raking it from the right side. Yes, Manny should be a Hall of Famer. The next two guys uh, share a bunch of controversy. Uh, just There are people that debate on both sides of these guys in terms of should they be in, shouldn't they be in. Jeff Kent, probably one of the greatest offensive second basemen of all time at a position where offense is not held at a premium. I don't know. Uh, to me, Jeff Kent just screams Hall of Famer, but you know he hadn't gotten any, he's just trickling kind of along on the ballot. Pop Helton is on actually a really good trajectory to get in at some point. You know, a lot of people say, oh, he played in Coors Field. Well, again, I always come back to, is that the player's fault? Like, they can't help who drafted them. You know, they're not, he just did what he did with what he had, best he could with the tools that he was given. And yeah, he played in Coors Field. Okay. Uh, that doesn't mean he's going to hit the way he hit and all that. There's plenty of guys that play in Coors Field that don't put up the numbers that Todd Helton did. So to me, Todd Helton is a, uh, Certainly borderline, but but I would vote for him for the Hall of Fame. Uh, wow, two other guys. We got A-Rod, really? A-Rod, of course, A-Rod should be a Hall of Famer. In spite of the PED stuff, he was still one of the greatest players, literally of all time. And I think he just doesn't get the recognition just because of the, the negative stuff about his PED use. Scott Rowland. He's a borderline guy for me, but again, he's one of those, if he got in, I wouldn't be upset. He is not on the registry. Uh, Scott Rowland, so Rowland and uh, Palmero are two cards that I have in here that I think will be Hall of Famers that are not on the registry yet. To get cards put on the registry, they have to, basically they get a suggestion from somebody out there, hey, put Scott Rowland on the registry, and then they go out and poll all of the people that are involved in the registry. Should we add this person? Should we not add this person? And those get done. There have been players that have been elected to the Hall of Fame that never were on the future Hall of Fame list. See, uh, Harold Baines was like that. Ted Simmons was like that. So, you know, just because you're not on the registry doesn't mean you won't get in the Hall of Fame. This is just someone's opinion or a lot of people's opinions about who's going to get in. Next, we got two guys that I think are total locks, 100% uh, they're going to get in. Adrian Beltre, no question, his 97 Bowman Chrome card, which I love, and the 99 Bowman Chrome CC Sabathia, both guys are going to get in. 
3,000 strikeouts for Sabathia, 3,000 hits for Beltre. Come on, they're getting it. Uh, these two guys, it's funny how they're all grouped together in these little groups that make a lot of sense. You got Cabrera, just hit his 500th home run, will undoubtedly get 3,000 hits. Yes, he's going to get in the Hall of Fame, first ballot, no question. Pujols, of course, is another first ballot guy. We'll see how much longer. I guess this is uh, Pujols' last season. We'll see how he finishes his career here with the Dodgers. But uh, no doubters. Uh, Pujols might be certainly top five of guys that I've seen play in terms of talent and amazingness. I saw Pujols at the 2011 World Series. I went to, I think it was game three, where he hit three home runs. <laughs> One of them still hasn't landed yet. It's in orbit around the planet. Amazing. Great player. His 2001 rookie class teammate, Ichiro Suzuki. I have several uh, rookies of Ichiro and Pujols for that matter. But what's funny is they include in the registry the SP Authentic, which is actually a numbered rookie card. And I don't agree with the card they used for that. I think it's, first of all, it's super expensive. And I, I think it should be a more obtainable rookie card for more people. So whether you use the tops, the tops chrome, I, you know, something that's just easier to get than uh, the SP Authentic. But I had to include rookie cards with these guys because, of course, they're getting in the Hall of Fame. Each row is, no doubt. All right, we've got a trio of pitchers here coming up. We've got Verlander, Kershaw, and Max Scherzer. I'll show these guys together. I have them all in PSA 9. So we've got Verlander's 05 Tops draft pick card and the 08 Tops update, Scherzer and Kershaw, both of which are teammates now. But uh, these guys are all no doubters, like literally could retire right now. Uh, and they're getting in. So I love it. Uh, both are, or all three are incredibly dominant of their era right now. You could argue some, you know, Scherzer's pitching lights out for the Dodgers. Kershaw is being Kershaw. So they're still going strong. And, uh, but they're already, they've already sealed their Hall of Fame fate. They're getting in. Last two guys, one's a no doubter, one's a maybe. Uh, I am missing, you know, kind of in this era, I don't have a Yadier Molina, which I think he'll get in, although I'm not as high on Molina. I'm not as high on Posey either, but I do think he will get in as well. Uh, Buster Posey. Catchers are just tough because there hasn't been a great era of catchers in a long, long time. And uh, Posey certainly one of the best. I have this near mint eight. This was actually a gift to me from uh, Ed Wesker Griff. So thanks, Ed. I wouldn't. Ha I mean, I would have bought this card, but it's only an eight. I'll probably upgrade it, but I'm for now. It's a great card to have in my collection. I'm happy to have it. And then, of course, the Trout. Uh, Trout's getting in right now. Could quit after 10, 11 seasons, and he would be a first ballot, no doubter, Hall of Famer. So there's his rookie card, the Topps Update, total classic card. So yeah, uh, that is the kind of list of players that are in the registry, a couple that are not in the registry of the future Hall of Fame. I mean, if you're going to speculate, I would be speculating on these guys. I'd be going out, buying autographs, buying rookie cards, buying other cards of these players that you, you know, that we think are going to get in the Hall of Fame. I think that's just incredibly smart for anyone's collection. Owning Hall of Famers is never a bad thing. So that's it, guys. Really appreciate you watching. Have a great one. Keep collecting.